Hey guys, DJ Peanut Butter Jelly here today, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna teach you how to make a Hamachi run server. Hamachi is this really cool kind of like web sharing site where you can make your Minecraft servers as well off of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to the Hamachi download page. What you're gonna do is I'll have the I'll have the link in the video description, but it's secure.logmean.com, or you can just search log me in Hamachi in your internet browser and you don't have to log in you're gonna go to the log me in Hamachi and then you'll do try it free and you can go to the, you'll, you you want to do the unmanaged mode and you'll download that nab first you to do the conditions of use so you'll download that then what you'll do is you'll you can find your um, log me in Hamachi in your um, turn uh, in your spotlight or wherever you may put it. Then what you have to do is it'll probably probe for a second if I turn it off. It'll have to you got you got to turn the little button on and it's gonna probe it and, it, and then y'all gonna have to just wait for it to go on. And so of course you're gonna need to have a Hamachi network. I'm already connected to these networks, but like you guys aren't. So I'm going to I'll show you how to do it. You got to go to network, create a new network. I'll say. Uh, DJ Peanut Network, and then password can be anything. Six T Y R, sure T Y R, and then you gotta wait for it to create. And we're waiting. Right there we go. So now just keep that off to the side there. Then we're gonna have we're gonna go to minecraft.net that can also be in the link as well although I'm pretty sure you guys know how to go there what you'll do is you'll go to play minecraft beta right there and then go to the download you're gonna go all the way down to the multiplayer beta server software if you're on windows then you go you click that but since we're on mac right now we're gonna download a minecraft server dot jar we've got that loaded now so I'm going to show it in finder and I'll drag it to your desktop, please. You can X out of the downloads now and keep Minecraft because we'll need that later. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make a new folder. Like it can be named anything. It can be named Olive Flandering. So I'll call my folder Olive Flandering. And I'm gonna drag my Minecraft server dot jar right there. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our folder and click the Minecraft server.jar. It's going to go to that little thing in there and it's going to start your Minecraft server and you're going to see like all of this stuff here. You see it's like preparing your spawn and now if you go into your all of Flandering folder then it'll start to pop up with all of these things like the whole world, the Minecraft server, the band, the server properties. So we're gonna just let that load off in the distance here. We'll minus that out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to server properties. And now we're in server properties. We're gonna edit these. So you can level name the world. Uh just keep you can just keep it as world or name it anything you want. You can name it Whirlpool. You can name it anything you want. Except unless in, unless you're in the case where you need to download a world onto your multiplayer server. In which case you'll um name the world something else but we'll tell you that in a different video allow the nether true view distance spawn monsters I like to put that at false uh, online mode now this is very important if you're on Hamachi you wanna put your online mode onto false cause Hamachi doesn't often doesn't you can try running it on true but what happens is it doesn't really work it just doesn't even connect anyway if you're on online mode so I suggest you keep that off max players 20 blah 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 server IP now what we're gonna do is we're gonna X out of all of Flandering and go on to this now that little code right there 5.160.61.223 that will be your server IP so I'm gonna copy in 5.160.61.223 and then the server port. 
You will always keep the server point at the default 25565 unless you already have another server, like as you can see on my servers. Then you're gonna you can put it as like 25564, 25563. I'll just put mine at 25560. And I like flying. So you can put that as true. So now command S to save it and we can X out. Alright, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into terminal and we're going to press CD space and we'll drag the all flandering folder or whatever you named your thing and press enter now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to minecraft and you see that little thing at the bottom java with all the numbers and the server.jar we'll copy that oops wrong one we'll copy that and then what we're going to do is we're going to paste, well, we can exit out of that now because it's done. We're going to paste it right into there. And now we press enter. And it's all going to start running now. You see? You see all the spawn areas starting to run? So what's going to happen is it's going to take a lot longer to load on your first time when you're doing it. But on the second time, third time, and stuff, it will be a lot better, a lot faster. So. We will wait for the spawn area to run. And now your server is running on Himachi. You can hand this IP and IP out for your friends. You got to but when you're ha handing I IP out, remember to always give them the network. So if I were to tell tell my friends to go onto the server, I couldn't just say, "Hey, my IP is 5.160.61.223:255560." No, I'd have to say, "My network is DJ Peanuts network and whatever I name my password." as well so that would be how I do it and then you'd also have to give me IP as well of course so now we've done the server it says done and I'm gonna stop it and you always stop it by pressing STOP you never X out of it like that you always do STOP stop and then it'll stop the server save chunks and then we're just gonna X out of it now so now we'll give you an example so now, the way you start it is, just to show you again, go back. You always start it like that. CD, space. Bring your whole all Flandering folder in there. Enter. Then, paste it. Then now, as you can see, it's loading. A little bit faster, but Hamachi always tends to take a little bit longer, but still, it's not loading percent by percent it's loading clumps of percents okay now it's done so what we're gonna do is go to our minecraft and we'll show you how it's running on Hamachi now so IP we'll enter our IP in can minus that here in oops obviously I'm not the best typer okay there we go now we've got it. So this is the server we just made a second ago. It's pretty cool, and since it's the first time loading, though, it's going to take a while to spawn all the stuff, and it might be a little bit laggy. So we can just, like, jump. And this is a real server. This can be an... This is, like, a server you can give to your friends, and you guys can make stuff. You can, you can even import your own maps and watch my future videos to see how you can do that. You can fly on it. Everything. You can see my other videos to see it fly as well. Ooh, some pumpkins. So that's basically all for now. Um, this is a Hamachi server. It works the same. You can make as many of them as you want. And that's basically all. So peace out. Hope to see you in my other videos. Thanks.